Hello and welcome to another video. Today, there's going to be talking on this one, don't worry. It's not just an arty farty one. There'll be too much talking, you'll be sick of hearing me. Look at this. Already touching camera, look. I said no touching camera, no fighting about, but look. This is why I'm out today. I'm out in the tent TP Safari 7 with a stove so it's hot tent camping i've camped out in tents with stoves before but never put one up myself and spent the night on my own in one so i'm looking forward to this it's a bit of a weapon it's took some effort getting it in here but we're going to put it up i'm going to show you around it tell you what i think we're going to spend the night in it cook up some food so if you're in the market for a hot tent or you just want to see me sleep in one stay tuned This video is kindly sponsored by Nordic Outdoors. My mates at Nordic Outdoors. They have shops in the Lake District, in Edinburgh and now in London. And they have an online store as well, which I shall leave links below to. And I'll leave links to the tent teepees that they sell on their online store and in their shops. So go check them out. They're a lovely couple of lads, independent and I support them fully. They've sent me this tent, it's not new, it's not mine, it's just for me to use to see what I think and I'm looking forward to using it. I've not watched any videos on how to set it up, I've got no idea what I'm doing. So let's crack on and try not to make too much of a pig's ear of it. I'll get my bag out at road. So this is what they sent me. Guessing that's the ground sheet, guessing that's the TP. guessing they're the pegs, guessing that's the stove. So the stove will be the last to go in, so we'll put this out the way. So I would recommend if you're doing this sort of thing, definitely research it beforehand. Don't just wing it. But that's what I'm doing, winging it. So do as I, do as I say, not as I do. All right, so ground sheet, I'm guessing we'll go on last. Here we go, let's have a look. She. Okay. All right. It comes with this. So we'll put this in the middle. The centre pole will go in here, and then it gives you your instructions depending on what you've got. And that's us. Safari Seven. Oh, it's big, like it's big. This is obviously the centre pole. If you. Could just use a, a bit of timber, cut to exactly the same length that'll do the trick, but there you go, it's quite high. You can't see, but it's high. All right. <laughs> Should have read instructions, mate. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. It's quite big, isn't it? She's a beast. And I guess the edges will come in as it, as it goes up higher. So you get this bit of string, right? This, this, which I'm assuming you attach to the circle and that's your diameter for you, for this particular tent. So that you know where your pegs go so that when you put the pole in, it's all gonna come taut. So I'll do that. So this marries up with the lines on the disc so you know where to put your pegs. There, the douche. I'm just going to have to spend a bit of time and knock up a few pegs out of timber, decent length ones. Should we have a go? It's working. Finished. There we go, look beautiful. Is that it? It's just gonna need some jigging, mate, but I'll be back in a minute. Right. It's 
is massive. Oh, hello. Just me. It's just me in this massive, massive teepee. I don't know what that is. Probably to attach the awning or something. Oh, it's going to get windy. She's going to get windy, so that's that. That'll do. That'll have to do because I've not... Like, in future, I'll look into it a bit more. That's for, that's for my chimney. That's good. Whew. Right, let's get flooring. The floor. Yes. Oh. Peg. Oh, instructions. Brilliant. Brilliant. Could have done with them, but never mind. We're winging it. We are winging it. Now for the stove. Treasure chest. It's definitely, a, I think, something this big, it's a two man job, isn't it? My, my glamorous assistant is busy. And if you're watching, glamorous assistant, look. I'm having to do all this on the Todd. Right. Then you get a nice little box to do whatever you want with. Woohoo! That's a beast. What's the best place for it, look? <clears throat> okay. I'm assuming. Just stand. Ow! Oh, it's a mucky job. You've got your bits and pieces inside your stove, look. Oh, that's your flu. Oh, no, that's your. That's your flu there. Yeah. I'll, uh, if it's been used before, I would recommend maybe just using. I don't know, some, just put some gloves on or some, uh, you don't have to, you might get a little bit of dirt on your hands, but whatever. <laughs> That's it. Chimney is in, fire is in. The stove's all set up, I've got the hurricane lantern on, and I'm just going to light it. It's got a little, about, a little vent here for airflow and a lock. And to light it, I'm just going to use one of these, which you can buy. I have them at home for the fire at home. Just wood shavings in, I don't know, wax or oil or something like that. Use that. I'm not going to mess around with tinder bundles and stuff while we're in the tent, just a lighter. Some kindling because the night's drawn in. It is getting dark now. Well, it's dark. <laughs> and so what it lacks in width, it makes up for in depth, this thing. You could probably fit two of these, two of these logs in. And you can have your fire burning like that lengthways, which will enable you to cook on top of it as well, which we're gonna do. Where's the smoke going? Is it going up the chimney? Looks like it, it's drawing. It's so cosy already. I've only just lit the fire a little bit, but with the lantern and the crackle of the fire. <laughs> I'm into it. If you want to keep this closed, we don't want it spitting out everywhere. And that fastens it glove just for handling the hot metal. And the heat is instant. You can feel it in the air. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's boiling. Delight. T-shirt weather. <laughs> and my bed is just in the corner. I've just got a foam roll mat my uh, Thermarest NeoAir X-Therm bed with my Rab Ascent 900 sleeping bag on there and a wool blanket but I don't think I'll need it in fact I'll probably just use the wool blanket uh, that'll retain some heat once it goes out as well so obviously I made a meal of it putting it up and I'm in the woods as well what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate review of the tent and the stove and show you how to put it up properly and I'll put that on my second channel which I'll link there 
So if you're into your reviews or you want to just check out this tent in particular, then go check it out and I'll leave a link for that downstairs as well. Oh, the heat coming off the back of there. And that's where you can put your pan or your kettle, just boil whatever you want and then use it to cook on. And all the smoke is getting taken up the flue and coming out the top. <laughs> and just left with a lovely cosy heat. And I can imagine if it's raining, the ambience of the rain on the, on the outside of this canvas, amazing. <sighs> I mean, t I've had to get a t-shirt on. I'd, been, I'd be like just in underpants in here. If you weren't here, I'd just be duds. And I will be later because it is, that's why they call it a hot tent because it is boiling hot. Man, this is great. Right, I'm going to get some food on. Get the old lodge cast iron going. Knife of choice. Custom SE3. Roll with half, half an onion. Little bit of coconut oil that is all, already starting to melt just by being in here. get that fierceness out of them. Chicken. Just simple, Cajun chicken wrap. No need for a plate. But the stove would work perfectly for slow cooking stuff. It's not a massively fierce heat, especially with the cast iron. So you could just let that simmer away for ages. Mm -mm. Mm, I'm so hot. <laughs> it's warm, I'm going to leave the door open all night I think. I'm going to have to, I'll cook. I'm going to enjoy this and have another one and then uh, square everything away and just chill out and I might join you for a beer. There's quite a few twinklers out tonight, might have to get a time lapse going. Right, there we are. Me with sheep on t-shirt. Where is he? And sheep in background. Hashtag sheep. John Peeler, oh, just a bit of a survival thing in there, um, whatever. I'll have a little slurp with you, it's been a while isn't it, it's been a while and look at this, what better place to have a slurp. The Hayes Outdoors, Yorkshire Till I Die, what the fuck, the Hayes Outdoors, Yorkshire Till I Die. DDH English IPA coming in. Oh, my light keeps going off. Oh, light keeps going off. I'm going to lose my light, so I'll have to be quick. It's coming in at respectable 6%, so yes, it is caving the doming. Absent friends, 
Oh, mate, light keeps going off, shall I just keep going? Can I put this up to my head? Like that? Uh, absent friends. Delightful and it's cold because I've had it outside TP. Mm. Well, I guess that's it because my light's gone. Is that what it is now? There we are, but what's going on? Once that is going to go in a minute, in literally seconds. I was going to have a chat to you, but I just want to, I just hope you're all doing well anyway. I send you all the love. Uh, and that's it, my light's gonna go, so I'm just gonna chill in here. All I'm gonna do is keep the fire ticking over and just chill by the lantern and nurse my beer. It's nice because you can leave this door wide open because of the heat. You can just stare at the sky and if you've got a good night with the stars and that. Tomorrow I'm gonna pack all this away. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and whatever and then pack all this away and then let's go for a wild swim. It's been a while since you've come with me for a wild swim, so we'll find somewhere and we'll dunk the junk and then we'll call it. But for now, I'm just gonna sip my beer, listen to my audio book and relax. Cheers. So I sent my beer off, the fire's ticking away, it is, it is, I've lost my light, my light's run out of battery sir, we're just by the light of the lantern which is a lovely atmospheric glow, I've closed the door up, it is hot in here, it's nice and hot, I'll probably just have my sleeping bag zipped open and just chucked over me like a quilt, that's it, we're just going to spend the night in here, see if it keeps warm, I've got a couple more bits of wood to chuck on the fire, which I will do in the night if it gets cold. I'll just you know keep it ticking over, but I don't think there'll be any reason to. This thing, because it's so big, is gonna it's gonna retain a lot of heat, and I I've got stuff to do tomorrow. I want to go for a wild swim, so I'm not gonna light it tomorrow. So I want it to be completely cold so I can clear it out. Don't touch the chimney. I'm tempted to touch the chimney to tell you what it is. It's hot from there, so you, yeah, it's. A, it's hot, but it's not, not mega hot. Right, I'm going to get my head down. Unless something magic or tragic happens, I shall see thee on the morrow. Morning. Decent night's sleep. I mean, I was boiling at first. Cooled down early hours a bit. But I was warm in sleeping bag and that. Slept in, it's half seven, I had no idea. I got work to do. I got work today, so. The big tidy down of a wigwam. Can't just stuff that in your rucksack, can you? So I'm gonna drop the stove, empty the ash out. The flu and everything goes back in the stove. Back it box, done. And then I'll just drop the tent. I'll drop you, mate, if you're not careful. Hey, look. The sun's coming out. There she is. Just ash. Just ash, mate.
There you go. It's actually pretty simple to do. That's it done. Happy days. No trace left. That was easy to pack away. I thought it would be a two person job, but it won't. It was pretty simple to pack away. It was pretty simple to put up really. It's just that I didn't research it enough. Is when I will research it enough <laughs> and I will put it up. I'm gonna either put it up in my garden or go to a field or a campsite where I can park next to it and give it the time and effort that it deserves. And then I'll talk you through exactly how to set it up. It'll be like a little guide. So if anyone does fancy getting one of these um, tent teepees, then you can look back at that video and see how to put it up, he says. <laughs> yeah, I've enjoyed that one. There hasn't been that much waffling on this one either, has there? For all you waffle fans, and I know people do say that you just wanna hear chats, but sometimes it's just, it is what it is. It is what it is, and this is what it is. I fancy a dip, to wash all this soot off me and just freshen up before taking on the day. Ah, there's no, there's no like walking off and that, cause I gotta walk. I've got to walk out of here and then come back for the tent. Au revoir. Theaters. I don't even know if I'll be able to get back out. <laughs> it's cold, mate. Woo! Oh. <laughs> That'll do. That is fresh. And I feel fresh. <laughs> you can't really hear much because it's waterfall, but uh, I just want to say thanks as always for watching if you've watched this far. Please do check out Nordic Outdoors. I'll leave a link below to their website. And I'll also leave a link <coughs> to the tent teepees that they sell. I've had a mint time in it. It was amazing to be in a hot tent and it really was hot. So if you fancy doing some winter camping with you and your family or just yourself, they've got a range of different sizes that you can choose from. So check them out. They're a lovely couple of lads as well, independent, and they, uh, yeah, they're sound, sound lads, so I'm happy to support them, and I'm happy to send you over to them. It's where I buy my, I've bought tents, axes, outdoor wear, all sorts from them, they're sound lads, so go support if you can. But that's it! I'm going to walk out of here with wet duds, <laughs> and I'll be back real soon. And I send you out, but love. <sighs> Take care of this end. Bye for now. I, don't, I can't. There's nowhere to go. Hey, love you. Bye. <laughs>